Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing from Presque Isle Downs here in northern Pennsylvania on Wednesday, June the 8th. And this is my day at the track.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 7 this evening, folks. 8 p.m. Eastern Post Time, 10 furlong route test on Presque Isle's cushion track. Three year olds and up race for his starter allowance purse of $31,000. Contenders number 7, Curse and Blessings. Number 2, Hanging by a Thread. Number 8, Jay. T. Kingfisher and number nine, Quick to Charm. Number seven, Curse and Blessings, a four to one shot is the pace profile leader in this allowance field, racing at or about today's distance of ten furlongs on the cushion dirt. Comes off back to back power run wins in his last two starts. Jockey Corey Orm was in his irons for those last two wins, which produced a positive 235% return on investment in the process. Orm is back today for his third ride, gunning for a hat trick win. Number two, hanging by a thread, has turned in power run performances in five straight, hitting the board in three, including a power run win in his fifth race back. Race seven summary, number seven, Curse and Blessings, tops my contenders list today, which also includes number two, hanging by a thread, number eight, JT Kingfisher, and number nine, Quick to Charm, seven, two, eight, nine, in the seventh from Presque Isle Downs. Bonus long shots, Woodbine, race four, number three, Desire and Fire, 10 to 1 bomb takes a class drop of 6 units. The overall speed leader in this allowance field racing at or about tonight's distance of 8.5 furlongs on the dirt. Evangeline Downs in Louisiana race 4, number 4, Mass Harbor. 9 to 2 in the morning line drops in class by 9 units. It's the speed leader in this claiming field sprinting at tonight's distance of 5 furlongs on the dirt. So from Presque Isle Downs on a Wednesday evening. Rick Needham for DayAtTheTrack.com reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.